Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. We've made it to Wednesday, hump day, that means it's almost the weekend. At least that's how I look at it. Today, folks, I wanna talk about feeding your fish. Specifically, do you need to feed your fish every day? It's a good question, right? Let's think about that. Do you need to feed my fish every day? I don't know, let's talk about it and decide. But first, folks, I want to talk about some of the food I feed in the fish room regularly, and I want to start with these kelp wafers, because as you know, I've been trying to grow some plecos to sell for you guys. <clears throat> I love these kelp wafers. I got them from supercichlids.com. Uh, Super Cichlids is a mom and pop shop, and the mom and pop are Lisa and Martin, and I love those people to death. They are some of my favorite people in this fish hobby. Uh, when I go to the Keystone Clash in the vendor room, I specifically have asked the organizers to be next to Lisa and Martin, not only because their booth will get the most traffic, but they're the coolest people there probably. <clears throat> and uh, so that's why I want to be next to them. But I ordered these kelp wafers from uh, Super Seconds. There's a, they, they had a great price, free shipping, using uh, code SHIP for free, of course. But what I really want to tell you about Super Seconds today is the sale, Labor Day sale, 20% off the entire website. Go check it out. They've got the Northfin. They've got the, the Cobalt now. Uh, I have this Cobalt Ultra Guppy Pellet, which I really, really like. If you've bought from them recently, you've gotten samples from this. Uh, I also love the Northfin Fry Starter. They are the best Northfin sellers out there, hands down. They have great service, they have great personality, and great prices. Guys, check out supersequence.com. Besides Northfin and Cobalt, they also do Tropical and Omega-1, and they have the plushy plecos, and <coughs> they do some sea chem stuff. They have it all for your fish room. Supersequence.com. I can't, I can't suggest them highly enough. They are fantastic. Guys, some other things I have that I feed, obviously, you know, my pepper mill. Um, currently in here is the Northfin Black Soldier Fly Larvae uh, pellet, which I think is going to be released soon, but I've done a video on that. I have some Hakari Gold. It's killifish food, 51% protein. It's a little higher quality than the normal Hikari stuff we get here, only available in Japan. And uh, of course, the uh, Ocean Nutrition Flake Food. I did a uh, live stream with uh, Jason from Ocean Nutrition trying to talk about some of the ingredients. <clears throat> high quality ingredients. Love the fact that it's a crunchy flake. I can crush it up fine for the guppy fry. And of course, catfish chips from Sarah. Overall, I'm not a big fan of Sarah food. However, I do like these catfish chips. All right, that's enough talking about what I feed. What do you feed? Let me know in the comments below. What do you feed all your fish? And do you need to feed your fish every day? The simple answer to that is no. Fish are opportunistic eaters, which means, like me, if food is placed in front of them, they'll eat it. That's why if you feed your fish and then two minutes later you drop food in there, they all eat it. And then two minutes later you drop more food in there, even though their bellies are full because they're little tiny itty bitty bellies, they'll eat it. They'll just eat until they pop. <coughs> I mean, not technically pop, but you know what I mean. So I've heard this from cichlid, mostly cichlid keepers. Uh, I fast my fish every Sunday, every third Wednesday, or every full moon that lands on a Thursday when it's a repeat of Seinfeld. I don't know. So that was a rolled callback. Seinfeld on Thursdays? That's got to be 10 or more years ago. Love me some Seinfeld. Anyway, if you're a youngin, check out Seinfeld on YouTube or wherever. Great show. If you're old like me, good memories. All right, I digress. Do you need to feed your fish every day? Cichlid keepers? No, I, I only I don't feed them on Sundays or whatever. <clears throat> okay. If you fast your fish for one day, for whatever reason, great. If it works for you, it's right. I feed my fish, at least any fish tank with on the auto water change system, every day, twice a day, sometimes three or four times a day, if there's fry in there. Now. I also overfeed the bejesus out of my tanks because I want them to eat and grow big and fat and delicious so I can sell them for you guys. But in my community tank upstairs with angels and quarries and, and plecos, that's also heavily planted by the way, and I'll tell you why that's important in a second, I feed once a day, sometimes every other day, sometimes every third day, 
Fish just don't need to eat every day. They're not us, right? They're not humans. We also don't need to eat every day, you know, because then you get like this, but whatever. <clears throat> In the wild, when a fish is hungry, which is probably all the time, it eats. It hunts a mosquito or a bug, or it eats uh, biofilm off some driftwood or bogwood or the bottom of the stream that they're living in, the rocks has some microorganisms. They eat that and boom, they're done. <clears throat> if there's no food available, guess what? They don't go to the McDonald's and ask for a Big Mac, large fries, and a Coke. They're just dope. This is not how it works, right? So, do you need to feed your fish every day? No, you certainly don't. Do you need to feed your fish every other day? No! Most people feed their fish because that's what they want. They want to eat every day, so they feed their fish every day. <clears throat> most people also overfeed their fish. That's why if you look at uh, most fish food directions, how to feed, if you've ever looked, only feed what your fish will eat within two to three minutes. I don't know who came up with two to three minutes. You got to tell somebody something, so I guess it's a good enough rule. <clears throat> you know how I feel about rules. If you feed your fish what they can eat in two to three minutes, you're probably going to overfeed them. And the reason why it says to do that on the package is you're not going to kill them, but you're going to use a lot of food. That's just my unscientific reasoning for why it says that. Most people do overfeed their fish, and uh, that's why sometimes you'll get somebody that's had a tank for two or three months, and all of a sudden their cycle goes crazy, and then they lose the tank, or they lose most of the fish in their tank. Usually it's from overfeeding and not cleaning properly. So, speaking of overfeeding, let's talk real quickly about science. I'm not the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, so I'm gonna dumb it down for myself. Hopefully everyone understands. A little bit about the nitrogen cycle. Fish pee and poop, that causes ammonia. The reason they, they poop is because of what we feed them. If you feed them less, they poop less. Just common sense there, right? Ammonia then gets converted to nitrite by a uh, specific bacteria. Nitrate is also deadly like ammonia to the fish. <clears throat> nitrite is then converted to nitrate by a different bacteria. Nitrate is slightly less toxic to fish. Uh, as an example, anything over zero nitrate or ammonia starts to be toxic for the fish. I'm talking 0.25 parts per million ammonia will start to burn certain gills, certain fish gills, and definitely affect them. Same thing with nitrate, <clears throat> sorry, nitrite. However, nitrate on the other hand, the trigger for changing water, usually when it's too high, is anywhere from 20 to 40 parts per million. Some people I know say 80, I would change water 40 parts per million. So you go from 0.25 parts per million ammonia to being toxic to 40 parts per million nitrate. So you can see it's less toxic, but still can be toxic. That was a mouthful, digest that for a second. Nitrate is also used by plants, which is why having a planted tank is important, especially if you like to overfeed or you go away for a lot. All my tanks have a ton of java moss, or rickia or wisteria or any plant that i can put in there that will suck up nitrate that will also give guppies places to hide that those plants help keep help me those plants enable me to overfeed and not worry about my cycle that and the auto water change system all right that was a long way to go <clears throat> let's bring it back to overfeeding if you overfeed uh, the fish poop more, the uneaten food gets wasted and decomposes into ammonia. Boom, your cycle goes crazy, you kill your fish. We don't want that. Don't overfeed. That's simple. Do you have to feed every day? No, you don't have to feed every day. But if you do, don't overfeed. Again, if you choose to fast your fish, okay. If it works for you, great. Some people say you have to fast your fish so they don't get bloated. You, you know, you don't want them to uh, overeat. I, I don't know. I don't know the reasons because I don't do it. If I don't feed my fish for a week, everybody's fine. 
I go away a lot for work. The only time I have somebody feed my fish is if I'm gone for longer than six days. Um, when I go to Japan, last time I was in Japan for 14 days. My fish were fed four times. At least that's what I asked. Four times, that's it, in 14 days. <clears throat> if you go away for Labor Day weekend, let's say you and your significant other are going away for the last summer fling. Guys, if you're not in the United States, Labor Day weekend is a holiday. It kind of signals the end of summer. Uh, most schools start right around Labor Day. Here in the north, we start after Labor Day, but anything south of New Jersey, they seem to start before. Uh, I know Lisa's kids from Super Cichlid, they live in Delaware. They started the other day, I think Monday they might have started school. Anyway, um, I forgot where it's going. If you, let's say you're going away, end of summer, that's where we're going. You're going away for three days, going away Friday night, come back Monday afternoon sometime. Oh my God, who's going to feed my community tank, my gorgeous angels and super expensive quarries. And I have a Pleco in there that I really like. He's a blue phantom. And uh, I have the neons. I don't want the neons to die because they're so small. Who's going to feed them for those three days? Nobody. You don't need to feed them for three days. It's not a big deal. There's biofilm in the tank that they'll eat. There's algae that they'll eat. There's little tiny microorganisms that they'll eat. They'll be fine, trust me. Don't overthink it. The, <laughs> this is funny. The biggest issue when people overfeed is when they have somebody else feed their tank and usually it goes crazy. <clears throat> people think fish are always hungry because if you drop food in there, they eat it. And then five minutes later, you drop the same amount of food in there, they eat that too. That's because, as I said before, opportunistic eaters. They eat when food presents itself. That's why you don't need to feed them every day, simply. All right, fishy folks, that was a really long, complicated video. Hope you liked it. Check out supercyclists.com, 20% off for Labor Day. The sale starts today and ends on Labor Day, September 4th. Any questions, guys, shoot me an email michaelsfishroom at gmail.com leave a comment below what you feed your fish and what your uh, fish feeding schedule is and uh, don't forget to check out super cichlids at michaelsfishroom.com see ya hiya fishy folks and happy water change wednesday to you hope everyone's having a great week so far it's hump day, which means the weekend is almost upon us. So fishy folks, today I wanna to talk about a couple different things, but specifically one of the things I wanna talk about is, that is the dumbest intro I've ever heard. <coughs> Hi fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. It's hump day, which means it's almost the weekend. Folks, let's today, let's today, let's, what the? Hey, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Today, hump day. That means it's almost the weekend. Why do I keep saying hump day? It's not that big a deal. 